Hello guys, welcome to the first video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see what is JavaFX and how it's different from Swing, which is also a GUI platform for Java. So first of all, what is JavaFX? JavaFX is a media slash graphics framework for creating GUIs in Java applications, where GUI stands for graphical user interface. And JavaFX is intended to replace Swing as the standard GUI library for Java software environment. Now, it's more powerful than Swing and it can be used to create both desktop and web applications. JavaFX is like Swing, which draws its own components and which have lesser communication with OS and it's lightweight and hardware accelerated. Now it makes use of a file called fxml, which is a new XML based markup language for handling UIs. Okay. Now let's see uh, some history about JavaFX. First of all, for the first time, JavaFX was announced in May 2007 by Sun Microsystem and it was released in December 2008. It was originally brought as a response for Flash and Shockwave, but one of the intention was also to improve the ease of creating GUIs for Java application. Now the latest version of JavaFX is JavaFX 9 and why we use it. So you can see this is a swing uh, JFrame or you can say a swing window, which looks like this. And let's see how the Java XFX window will look like when we create it. So this is how the Java FX uh, project window will look like whenever you use some widgets of Java FX in the window, right? So it's much more improved, advanced than Swing, right? So it can be the replacement of the Swing. Now I have one example. I have created the Hello World window for the Swing application and the Java FX. And you can see the difference. So this is on my right is the Swing JFrame and here is the Java FX scene. And uh, you can see the difference between them. The Java FX is more flexible and it looks more attractive and it has much more functionality than Java Swing. Okay. Now in addition, Oracle provides you the Java FX scene builder which is a visual user interface design tool. And by using it, you don't need to spend n number of uh, hours anymore on trying to move a button little bit on the left or right or little bit adjusting its color right javafx has the ability to apply css on the component of the ui opens a door for better looking application that are more attractive to the end user it also has 3d support now before JavaFX version 2, JavaFX was made to use JavaFX script. So it was using uh, JavaFX script and using that it was, uh, you know, creating the scenes and stages and uh, the windows, right? But it was uh, until the version 2.0, which was deprecated after version 2.0. And from 2.0 onwards, FXML has been introduced, which is more powerful and XML based. One advantage of it is all developers has the knowledge of XML, so which is a benefit, right? Now FXML is a declarative XML based language, which is easy to use, okay? Now you may ask which one is better, JavaFX or Swing? So GUI, which are created using JavaFX a lot faster than Swing or AWT applications. JavaFX gives you more sophisticated and aesthetically pleasing UIs. 
In JavaFX, it's really easy to integrate sounds, images, video, or web content. JavaFX code is really simplified by separating the UI from the logic of the application. And JavaFX can be integrated in Swing application, allowing for the smoother transaction. Now, JavaFX terminology is a little bit different from Swing. So the main window of JavaFX on which every widget or component resides on is called stage, okay? And on top of it, there is a scene. So there is a framework called scene. And on scene, you can add the widgets, something like buttons, labels, or other widgets, okay? So this is the basic uh, framework for JavaFX window. So you have the stage, scenes and then your widgets so that's it for this video in the next video we will see how we can install and run our first application in java fx so stay tuned and please wait comment subscribe and bye for now